Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, on this second Sunday of Advent, we continue the theme from last week about the necessity of being ready for Jesus' coming. Contrary to all external preparations for Christmas that we can see on the streets and in the shopping centers, our preparation has to be a spiritual one. While the world around us is occupied with arrangements for holiday season and a commercial Christmas, we need to use this special liturgical time to change our lives for the better. So, how should we do this? St. John, who is the main figure of today's Gospel, calls us to an authentic transformation. He says, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. People were coming to him from different districts of the Holy Land to confess their sins. They recognized that he was a prophet who preached the truth of God. His call for reconciliation has been consistent in the Church for the last 20 centuries. Now it is truly a special moment to respond to that call. I encourage you to organize some time to reflect upon your life and to recognize your goodness, but also the dark and sinful areas. It might hurt, of course. For most of the people, the process of repentance is difficult and even emotionally painful. However, we need to face it, otherwise we will be unable to experience great joy and deep peace associated with the presence of God's grace at Christmas. Most of the time, a true renewal doesn't happen overnight. Repentance is a process. We need to be honest and patient with ourselves. It is good to remember that God is patient with us. In his second letter, St. Peter wrote, The Lord is being patient with you all, wanting nobody to be lost and everybody to be brought to change his ways. He knows our human condition and always waits for our decision to change. Then he will grant us his mercy. I encourage you to pray more and ask the Holy Spirit to help you to be prepared well for reconciliation. Spend some time reflecting upon God's word. Maybe Ask yourself during this blessed time whether you are heading towards the right direction in your personal life. Advent is a truly great time to make new decisions. There are usually many things we could change or improve, especially in the context of our family life. We just need a little courage to do so. There is always a space for improvement in every family. I know that some people are unable to face the reality of their struggles and even lie to themselves. They say, everything is fine with me, I don't need to hear about repentance. I have nothing to confess anyway. Let's allow Jesus to guide us in the process of removing blockages which prevent us from renewing our life. In today's second reading, St. Paul encourages us to give glory to God for his mercy. So let us praise him for his mercy. Let us praise him for his goodness and love for us sinners. May God's mercy and peace enter our hearts and our homes so we can be truly prepared for the nativity of the Saviour, whose prophet Isaiah called Prince of Peace. Let us remember that only by responding to John's invitation to repentance we will be able to welcome Jesus with peaceful and joyful hearts on Christmas Day. <laughs>